ladies and gentlemen, there's a new report that just came out on the U.S. fertility rate falls to record low. American women are giving birth at record low rates. Total fertility fell to 1.62. Wow. It was at 1.67. Now it fell even more down to 1.62 per woman in 2023. It's a 2% decline from a year before. Federal data release Thursday showed that it is the lowest rate recorded since the government began tracking in the 1930s. The decline reflects a continuing trend of American women. And they're saying a lot of it is economic and social challenges is the reason why many American women will forego or delay having children. A confluence of factors are at play. American women are having fewer children later in life. Women are establishing fulfilling careers and have more access to contraceptives. Yeah, because they don't push the family, y'all. I told y'all that before. They don't push the family. The only thing that they push heavily in this country is money. That's it. At the same time, young people are also more uncertain about their future and spending more of their income on home ownership, student debt, and child care. Some women who wait to have children might have fewer than they would otherwise for reasons including declining fertility. People are making rather reasoned decisions about whether or not to have a child at all. More than often, um, you know, people are just not prioritizing having children, not on the top of the list anymore. Total fertility estimates the number of children a woman would give birth to in her lifetime. The estimates don't account for what women actually decide in later years. The number of births last year was the lowest since 1979, according to provisional data. About 3.59 million children were born in the U.S., in 2023, a 2% drop compared with the 3.66 million in 2022. The figures are provisional and likely to adjust slightly when final data will be released later this year. Wow. You can definitely, so I got to show you this chart. You definitely can see it on this chart. Okay, so here is the chart they recently put out. You can see where it begins like around 1940. And you see it peaked and then start going on a decline after the 50s. And the replacement rate is 2.1. So once you fall below that, it's impossible to catch up. Now, this is according to their own scientists. So you can see as of 2023, the birth rate per woman is 1.617, which is well below the 2.1, which is needed. All right, the total fertility peak during the baby boom after World War II with a rate of more than three births per woman before falling beginning in the 1950s and 60s and then even more in the 70s. More recently, the fertility rate has declined steadily since hitting 2.12 births per woman back in 2007. 
before the financial crisis. And they're talking about 2008, the last time this country admitted that it was in a recession ever since then they you know we, we know they're still going through financial troubles because these are terrible people in charge they have been horrible and that's why when you go back and look at the financial crashes there's been multiple financial crashes because these people really seriously don't know how to run anything they just sit and give you the illusion that they know what they're doing but they actually don't know crap so anyway, the rate in the U.S. remained generally under 2.1 children per woman, or what is known as the replacement rate since the 70s, a rate of 1.62. That's where they hit in 2023. Wow. Sign of years of decline. Mm -mm -mm. So the births, they continue to fall. So in 2023, it was lower than any year since 1979, the data show. U.S. births edged up slightly during and after the pandemic. Long-term effects of lowering rates could shape the economy programs, including social security and other facets of American life. Yeah, well, you know, left, if you got less young people, then you're going to have less revenue, plain and simple. You know, that's why they're letting the gates flood at the southern border, because they know they can't make up for all of the losses through birth. So they'll just let all these people in from south of the border to try to keep the numbers up. But y'all, that is like a Band-Aid remedy right there. It's a Band-Aid remedy. So an influx of people immigrating to the U.S. could offset the impact of lower birth rates in the U.S. population size. Immigration has risen in recent years, easing labor shortages and expanding the population of big metropolitan areas. Like I said, it, this is a Band-Aid effect right here. Birth rate for women in their late 30s near rate for women in their early 20s. So it, it's just because a lot of women, the ones that are out here having babies are waiting until they are in their mid to late 30s to have children for the first time because they're too busy building a career and, you know, earning money above all else. And now... This is why you got so many women, the few that are out here having babies are waiting until they're in their 30s. Birth rates for women 35 to 39 fell 54.7 births, 1,000 women. Closer to the rates of women 20 to 24, which dropped 4% to 55.4 births per 100, I'm sorry, 1,000 women in 2023 and the teens between 15 and 19 man that is like <laughs> in free fall it, it really you know i don't see a lot of teenagers out here that are pregnant i saw a lot more of them when i was school age but now i the teenagers that i see i never see very many of them pregnant you know so that fell just 3% last year. The lowest rate, um, they said, was 7% between 2007 and 2022. So fertility, okay. So fertility rates, for race, they said, has also dropped, you know, and we know the biggest drop was 
Alaskan Native, um, American Native, and white women took the biggest drop. So y'all, you're going to have to tell me what you think. This thing is just going to continue to get worse. You know, barrenness in the Bible is judgment. And America is certainly facing judgment. Yeah, you always get those people come, oh, that's, oh, that's not true. This is cruel. No, it's not cruel. It's the truth. Maybe you need to listen. When you are barrenness and there's no birth and you can't, um, even sustain a population unless you open up some border and let a bunch of people in that you're not even vetting. No, that's definitely a judgment on you. So tell me what you think, y'all, of this newest report that just came out. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.